Today's home tour is of a quick move-in or an inventory home, brand new construction. This home is amazing. Look at this incredible entryway with the really dynamic stair rail. Stay tuned. Everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today we're going to take a look at an inventory home. So an inventory or a quick move in home means that it is completely new construction, brand spanking new home, but it is completed and ready and waiting for you. So you don't have to wait for the build time, which here can take about nine months. And it also means you don't have to pick out all of the design options yourself. All of that can be done. It is done and it's chosen for you. So we are out here at an Endeavor inventory home by MI Homes at one of their fantastic communities here in Oakland, Florida, which is right beside Winter Garden called Hull Island. This particular home is actually on the lake. So beautiful, spectacular views. This Endeavor floor plan is amazing. So 4,277 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and a three car front load garage. Check, 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 check. This has so many things that so many people are looking for, especially here in this area. Okay, so let's take a look at this home for two reasons. Um, um, most importantly, because this is the home that is for sale, it is completed and ready and waiting for you, but also because if you like this floor plan, you might wanna file it away. And as we tour, especially upstairs, we're gonna talk about one of the options that you can add to this home if you were to build. Okay, so you come in this beautiful, absolutely eye-catching entryway. You come in, the first thing you see is this magnificent staircase that goes up and curves and angles all the way around. There's an extra amount of the railing, whether you choose to do um, the wood the wood spindles, but in this case, again, this inventory home has the upgraded um, iron spindles with the dark oak stain that goes all the way up and around. So it is quite the visual as soon as you enter. There's a gorgeous plank flooring. This is upgraded as well, extended all throughout this first floor living area. Literally everywhere has the same gorgeous flooring and it is spectacular. All right, so big foyer entryway. So let's just point out a couple of things. This area right here is quite large. So this is a great spot for some magnificent piece of artwork or a piece of furniture, but this is a big spot right here. So visually, I wanna make sure you see that. This wall right here, again, beautiful opportunity to do some magnificent features right here, but I love the big wall because that just kind of gives you the opportunity to make your entryway very customized to what it is that you're looking for. All right, so this room over here is a designated dining room. There's a hallway over there that we'll reference, but we're gonna access it through the other side here in just a few minutes. But this is a really, really large dining room. The square footage in here is quite generous, which is really nice because if you have a dining room and you know, if people have to get rid of a formal living or a formal dining, sometimes people say, oh, we don't use that anymore. Well, you can, people, if they want to get rid of one, they'll get rid of the living room because they still like the dining room. If, however, you don't need to use this as a dining room, consider using this as an office and it is a really nice large office as well. All right, so nice spot here located right at the front of the home. By the way, there is crown molding all throughout this home. All right, so as we continue to walk through, up above, we kind of have that, that landing or that, that catwalk from up above. And here we are into the main hub of the home. So you can tell that there is an expansive two-story ceiling here in this family room with very lovely um, like tray ceilings up above. Beautiful, beautiful architectural visual that is really drawing your eye up. And you know what? Drawing your eye up is fabulous because you have a lake and nature back behind you. And then you have those extra windows up on that second, um, that second floor that just really lets all of that sunshine come in and it just continues to let you soak in that view. All right, so there's a lot of space right here. So you have plenty of room here in your designated family room. You have one set of sliders, you have two sets of sliders, and this home is actually built with the structural option of adding this sunroom which provides you more of a lanai and a third set of sliders so this is spectacular again the view out there is amazing so as we walk back behind here this is a semi partitioned wall that lets you access this little section back here which they reference in the floor plan as a sunroom now this to me is a great opportunity to be creative if you want to make this a little kids room kids zone where all of their toys 
toys or their little workstation, homework zone, whatever is back here, then that way it's kind of connected but out of sight of the rest of the room. But what's really nice about this is this room, again, gives you lots of options. If you wanted to use this as your dining room and that as your office, or you could make this your office space and have a gorgeous view out there of the back of the lake and of, the, uh, of just beautiful nature back behind you. All right, so let's go take a look at this kitchen, another one of my favorite things. So this kitchen, first of all, there's so much cabinetry everywhere, including this. What I like about this is that they didn't waste this wall. This wall could have been just a wall. But what they've done is they've given you an additional bank of cabinet and counters so you can utilize this as this bridges the family room area to your kitchen. Another thing that I really love about this floor plan is this island. I love curves and interest and this definitely gives you that beautiful curve here on this large island. You have a farmhouse sink and the design options here in this home are beautiful as well. You've got your white cabinets, you've got your white quartz counters and then if you take a look over here you've got beautiful cabinetry that they've mirrored on either side of your gourmet kitchen with your cooktop and your vent hood up above. They've done the glass insets and I think that's really beautiful. The backsplash goes all the way up. Again, this is such a crisp kitchen. The perfect neutral background for you to come in and kind of give it that pop of personality or that pop of color. So your gourmet kitchen section is over here. This is where you've got your stove and your microwave convection up over here. Now, back over here, another one of my favorite things. We've still got so much to do. I'm just in here thinking, okay, we got to catch up that room and we got to go over there. But let's come back here. Over here is going to be your three car garage entrance. So it is three cars side by side, three car garage. You've also got your drop zone, your launch zone right here, which is a great spot to drop your keys, your wallet, your phone, you know, drop your phone off over here. Nice little nooks up underneath for additional storage or if you're like me and you need room for your pet food bowls, that's a good spot. And then back over here, you've got a really large pantry. But what I also want to point out is this whole area, these walls give you a great opportunity to kind of do some custom little cubbies or nooks if you'd like, little shoe drops. Uh, hooks for backpacks or umbrellas. All right, so this is the little hallway that I want to come back and reference. So the dining room is back behind me. Again, this is a designated dining room. So right over here is um, if you look at a floor plan, this can be a wine room. You can really be creative with this spot as well. Do whatever it is that you want or need to do. You know, this is a good spot. Again, you could do some more custom cabinetry and really make this more like a buffet to bridge that walkway between the kitchen and dining room. You could use this as a pet room, additional storage room. Be creative. Make that little nook something that really functions for you and your family. And over here, you're going to have your downstairs half bath or your powder bath, which I also like because it's kind of tucked away. You know, the kitchen over here, family rooms over there, and that's kind of tucked away over there in the hallway. All right, so over here you also have the breakfast nook. Now this particular home, remember this home is completed. This is not a model home. This is an inventory home, a quick move-in that you might actually want to purchase for yourself. This one also has the extended breakfast nook. So this has already added this structural option to provide you even more space and depth right here in this informal day-to-day -day breakfast or dining area. So back over here, we're going to have a pool back door. So when we say pool bath door, you know, this would access out to the outdoor, um, outdoor space if you wanted to kind of create something. So you can have a really good representation there of, of what trees and lake is behind you. So you, you have, a, uh, have a backyard you'd want to be creative with if you wanted to try to add some outdoor living space. But if you do and when you do, you can utilize this door to access it. Over here, you're going to have um, a, the first floor has a full bedroom. This is a very generous size bedroom too. So from corner to corner, you can see you've got a lot of space in here and what I really like is this big massive window that again gives you such a beautiful view of that lake. It also has a huge walk-in closet. So for those of you that have friends or family or children, uh, in-laws that might need to live with you or stay with you and closet space matters, that definitely gives you a nice big closet. And directly outside the door and across the door from the pool bath is a full bathroom. So you have the powder bath that was up front in that little hallway, but this is the actual full bath that could be utilized for that bedroom privately or it's just an additional bathroom if you need it. All right, so one of the things we're gonna do now is we're gonna go take a look upstairs. So before we head there, okay, well, I wanna point out this too. There is a huge closet here under the stairs. So this is another big opportunity for storage. I can come back and from here it goes back maybe another two feet right here. So there's a little nook back there so you can also store stuff. Okay, I'm getting old, that hurt my back. Okay, um, so one thing I do wanna point out though from right here is that there is an option if you were to build, 
okay? That's not for this home. This home exists the way it exists. But if you were to build this home, this can actually be floored over and then you can create an entire bonus room upstairs. All right, so let's take a look upstairs as we go um, to see the second floor. Now the second floor already has, the way this home actually is already laid out, has a game room spot or like a lounge or fun zone, bonus room, flex space, loft, whatever you want to call it. And then it has um, three more bedrooms and then the master, so four bedrooms upstairs. Okay, so before we go over here, let's just do a quick imagine, because if, again, if you think you would like the floor plan, you're not ready yet, but you might like to build this floor plan. This floor plan can be built with this entire, this entire space right here floored over. So all of that becomes a game room. This over here, look at this, this is a wide, wide walkway, very wide, longer, it's farther apart than my arms can reach. But back over here, you have a lovely spot, I love, that window right there. I love that it curves up at the top. And from here, actually, why don't you take a quick peek out there because you can see a beautiful pond to your left. And beyond that, you can see like a pop guy. So it's really, really, I mean, there's just water, water everywhere. So definitely a home with some water views for you. So this space right here is your fun zone, your game room, whatever you want to use. Now over here is a closet, which I actually like because you can either store like vacuum cleaners, things like that, if you don't have a little robot vacuum, or you can fill that with some shelves and make this your game room and put all of your um, board games and things like that in there. Nice amount of space here. So, and I, what I like is this also overlooks and you can still see the water out the windows. Fabulous. Okay, let's take a look over here at the master since we're just gonna kind of go in order here. So the master bedroom is enormous. Take a look at this master bedroom. If you are, um, you know, so many people really, really want a large master. They want it to feel like they're at a spa. It's luxurious. This is kind of where they really like to spend their time to truly relax. Then you've got the space to do that here. This is a huge, huge bedroom. Also, notice that they have a tray ceiling, but they've also added four additional recessed lights. You know, I always say if I could go back and rebuild my home, I would rebuild it. I love my home, but I would add some things that I didn't really think mattered at the time. And sometimes having those extra recessed lights they kind of matter and they're a little late or hard to add later on. All right, so gorgeous view out of this master bedroom window. So again, this home is an inventory, quick move in. This could be your view every single day. These trees, you've got the moss that comes down. Um, and then of course, you've got that gorgeous water view back behind you. All right, so the master bathroom, the, the whole spa and luxury feel continues right on in here with your white cabinets, your white counters, again, darker contrasting um, hardware. You have a single sink with a long, vanity space here, freestanding tub, you've got your oversized um, semi-frame or frameless shower over there, and then over here you've got your separate sink vanity. Back over here is your privacy door for the toilet, and then of course you have a huge closet, which by the way, you know, I would imagine you'd want to put a big mirror right here, and then you've got two different sides that you can kind of uh, organize your clothes. And what I like that they've done here is they've really given you it's not custom closet design, but they have certainly um, gone over and above what you would typically get, typically get in a home when it comes to closet and closet shelving. Um, they've given you, you know, multiple layers. They've given you some kind of like shoe ones, which is nice. All right, so back in this direction, we're gonna have three bedrooms, one of which is an ensuite, which was also a structural option. So over here is the full bath. So this full bath, again, this one is nice because you have the quartz counters, you have the same cabinet, same gorgeous upgraded flooring. And I love over here, very simple with the white tile, the white tub, white tile um, installed at the diagonal, so they look more like diamonds than squares. And then they have the little shampoo cutouts as well. This bedroom over here, <clears throat> excuse me, this bedroom and the other bedroom, we're gonna utilize or share that bathroom. Nice, generous sized bedrooms and nice, generous sized walk-in closet. So every room in this home is really nice. Over here is your laundry room. So right beside the full bath is your laundry room. This one already has your cabinet with your laundry sink installed. Thank you, thank you. I love it when they do this part and not just the pre-plumb. You've also got shelving over here and then plenty of room for your washer dryer, as well as a, um, you have a little, maybe a foot, about a foot kind of a recess over here. So if you want to think about, um, you know, something you could do here, I like that it's kind of pushed back, maybe a smaller little table. And then of course, these are your, um, your water heaters, your tankless water heaters. Linen closet over here, and then back in this corner is another bedroom. This bedroom, another nice big walk-in closet back over here. Both of these bedrooms are going to service or, or utilize that bathroom that's over there. 
but this bedroom over here tucked back in the corner has its own private bathroom so same size bedrooms all of these rooms are the same size this one is nice again tucked back in the corner i love this and i love my angles and this wall kind of just like the other one it kind of mirrors you have a little bit of an angled entrance but over here you have a bathroom that's going to provide you same flooring same cabinet granite countertops same tub shower combo and then of course you also have a large walk-in closet for this bedroom as well. So this home, remember this home is, <clears throat> it is actually, it's available. It's, you see me, I'm walking in it, right? It is complete, it is ready for you. If you need to close quickly, they can make that happen. If you are still, you know, a month or two or three months out, well call me, we can still talk about it. Um, and if you want to build this floor plan, <clears throat> excuse me, same thing, we can certainly get you in touch and pick and choose a lot and start that build process as well. Okay guys, remember I do not work for or represent the builder. I'm a realtor here hoping to help you. If you've watched this video and you find this information in this tour helpful, you can do me a couple of favors. First one is call me, 407-848-8042. The second one is subscribe to this YouTube channel if you would like to. Um, and if you do subscribe, you can also ring that bell. That way you'll be alerted when we have new videos. Now this is a quick move in home. So this home may not be available on the market very long. So if you are interested, um, act with um, urgency. <laughs> so give me a call, act quickly, let me know if you are interested, and then we can start the process. I appreciate you guys watching so much. Please stay safe, stay well. I hope you enjoyed this tour, and I will talk to you soon. Happy house hunting.